Help, Dr. Living Good, I'm run down. I got a cold, I got a virus. What do I do? How to get rid of a cold, flu, or virus and the symptoms of it right now. Here we go, 10 ways to do it. Number 10, I love me some oregano oil. I like to mix it with mono Lauren. Now, the oil itself of oregano tastes terrible going in, but you can use it in a capsule form. I'll put that link in the description for you. And I like to pair it with mono Lauren. Now, these two are powerhouses, especially when it comes to upper respiratory infections. So if you're dealing with the snots and the sniffles and the breathing issues and the mucus and the hacking and the coughing, that's upper respiratory. Oregano oil is fantastic for it. I take a dose of around 1,000 milligrams during this period of time when I am run down down, it will bolster and give the immune system raw material to work with. Its counterpart, monolaurin, is lauric acid, which is antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal. Putting that in is going to beat down the microbes, putting them together even more powerful. A gram of that, 1,000 milligrams on a daily basis, is a great one-two punch. To learn more about it, it's in the description. Number nine, cut out the dairy and the sugars, these things are gonna create a lot more mucus, they're gonna create a lot more congestion. Normally that's going with it. So no dairy, no cheese, no milk, no cottage cheese, no sour cream, no yogurt, and then really get sugars out, which is mean no bread, no chips, no crackers, no grain. What am I gonna eat, doc? Have yourself some soup, have yourself some broth, have yourself some tea, have yourself some fruit, get some vitamin C in there, have a smoothie. Those are way better options. Get the dairy and sugar out. Number eight, vitamin C. Acerola cherries, strawberries, broccoli, blueberries, oranges, get vitamin C in. It wards off colds and flus. It's gonna replenish your adrenal glands, which the more you're stressing your body, the more run down that you get. And it's water soluble, which means it runs through you every single day. During cold and flu, high dose vitamin C has been shown to ward off the sickness faster. You can also nebulize it. If you have a nebulizer, it's steamed air. You can put vitamin C powder in water and nebulize it into your lungs and sinuses to clear them out. Otherwise, I take anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 milligrams a day when I'm really run down. Now, if you start to get loose bowels, you've taken in too much. It's water soluble, it's going right through you. High dose vitamin C, there's a link to that in the description as well. Number seven, it's counterpart, vitamin D, D3, five to 10,000 units a day when you are run down, especially helps the recovery process, helps prevent further damage, cold flus, or it lingering around Around, and you're gonna to wanna to take it with zinc. Zinc is another big fighter. We'll talk about that in a moment. Number six, silver serum. Colloidal silver is a great antimicrobial, antiviral, antifungal. Um, the one that I create comes in a spray form. You can spray it in or you can nebulize it again with the steam. It can go in your mouth, up the nose, in the ear, or for a skin infection. We have that on hand all the time in our wellness cabinet because of its antimicrobial, antiviral properties. Number five, zinc. Zinc is a powerhouse when it comes to viruses. A review of 18 clinical studies on zinc and the common cold suggests that taking zinc within 24 hours of your cold symptoms could help to reduce the cold's duration. People who took zinc or use zinc lozenges at the dose of 75 milligrams a day or more usually had fewer days of sniffles and sneezing than those that didn't take it. So load up on some zinc. I like to take it with my vitamin D because they help each other absorb. Number four, a saline nasal spray. These sprays, salt and water, can possibly help alleviate nasal congestion, stuffiness with colds and you know the congestion that we a lot of us deal with. And that's according to a Cochrane Database Systemic Review. So you can purchase a nasal spray bottle over the counter or you can just make your own at home. Just boil two cups of water and then add in a half a teaspoon of salt. You could go as high as a full teaspoon of salt. You may add in a half a teaspoon of baking soda as well to help with the detoxification properties of it, okay? Let it cool down and then you're just going to you know mix and blend those two together and you could just shoot it straight up in the nozzle. So make sure you don't put it in while it's hot. Not a good idea. Um, but it can just be in a little spray bottle and you could just right up through, or you can also nebulize, steam, always a good idea. Number three, honey. Journal of Family Practice reported that honey given at bedtime to help reduce coughing did it better than cough medicine. So honey in your tea, tea's fantastic as well, which is number two. 
hot liquids. So mix your honey in with hot liquids. Tea is fantastic. Ginger, peppermint, very good for a sore throat. Adding the honey in is gonna help with the coughing side of it. Or you could go with turmeric, it's gonna help lower inflammation if you're dealing with a virus. And the number one way to get rid of a cold now is that nebulizer. 20 bucks at a health food or a, a drugstore. You're gonna have a little container at the bottom. It's usually gonna screw off. You're gonna fill it to the fill line. I like to put silver serum in there. One part of that to 10 parts of water. You could do vitamin C, powdered vitamin C and nebulize that or just straight up steam. It's a great way to knock all this out, get things draining, get you some rest at night so you're not hacking and keeping you up, which is gonna help you recover faster. Get rid of a cold now. How to quickly boost your immune system it's cutting out a lot of the consumption that you're doing. So check out this hack for bolstering the immune system and the science behind it in this next video right here. Check out the immune supporters in the link in the description. See you soon. Feel better.